I've never made a fool of you. You've always been too wise. You, you on that bright shouting cloud. Though she hello. Uh, hello there, Kim, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you're uh, or, um. Doug Jenkins, in apartment five C. I recognize you from down in the lobby. Sometimes I see you waiting for the elevator. Yeah, takes forever these days. <laughs> One patient at a time. Uh, passenger. Uh, when someone doesn't take the stairs, I assume they have a disability. You assume wrong? Guess I'm too lazy to think of another reason. Uh, try presentability. What? I'm a banker, so my work entails video calls with clients. I can't be out of breath or sweaty. From walking up a few flights? I'm higher up than you. Only one floor. I'm also somewhat older. All the more need to get fit. Thanks for your concern. Now, Kim- Cardiovascular health is very important for seniors. I'm not in that category yet. Take the stairs and you'll get there. I'm in no rush. Anyway, Marion gave me your number, so. Is she okay? Oh, good as gold. I haven't seen her lately. And yeah, she's staying indoors. At her age, she must be a prime target. Yep, in the vulnerable group. Does she need someone to do her shopping? Uh, she's arranged deliveries. So I don't, no, I'm, I'm calling about another matter. Just say the word, happy to lend a hand. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Kim. Times like this, neighbors gotta look out for each other. Absolutely. How can I help? I've noticed you feeding birds on your balcony. So? Well, they're landing on mine. Well, lucky you. I hardly know how to ask this, but can- Want tips on feeding them? Crusts cause constipation, seeds keep them regular. They do their business on my railing. It dribbles down, leaving a vertical smear on the glass. The sign of a healthy gut. I'm trying to be polite. The <laughs> stuff washes off easy. When it's fresh. But if I miss a bit on the far underside of the railing, it soon solidifies. Want to borrow a hammer and a chisel? <sighs> Kim, the birds are a nuisance. Then shoo them away. I do. But they keep <laughs> There's one right there. They're making you exercise, just what you need. You need to stop your irresponsible behavior. <laughs> Come off it, dude. I was hoping you'd respond to a friendly chat. You hoped wrong. Right. Consider this an official warning. Ooh. I mean it. You can't even scare a sparrow. I'm on the committee. Big deal. We have the power to enforce compliance. Small pets are allowed. You're welcome to a canary in a cage. Birds need to be free. Fine. Feed them down in the park. I'm only allowed out for essential shopping and exercise. Sprinkle seeds while you walk. Daren't risk that, Doug. The cops have the power to enforce compliance. Are you prepared to resolve this issue or not? I guess I could try putting the birds in diapers. Right. Okay. I'm inviting Marion to join this call. Maybe you'll listen to the chairperson then. Have you already squealed on me? Oh, I haven't breathed a word of it to her yet. I was hoping there'd be no need. Your hopes keep getting dashed, don't they? Not in the long run. No. Doug? Oh, how lovely of you to call back. Oh, and you're here too, Kim. Hi, Marion. Huh. Oh, isn't this cozy? Uh, yeah, we've been having a talk. Oh, I'm thrilled. I love fostering introductions. Been an eye opener. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> Listen, uh, Marion, I'm sorry to be a wet blanket, but I must raise a delicate matter. Let me make it easy for you. I am stepping down as chairperson. Really? Oh, it's time to pass on the baton. Well, I mean, if that's your decision. 
And for my last act, Doug, I endorse you as my successor. I mean, well, there'd have to be a vote. Oh, no, that's purely a formality. The committee will agree with me. You have the skills and the dedication. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I'll always be guided by what's best for the building. <laughs> uh, Marion. <laughs> Are you sure you're doing the right thing for you? Oh, yes, dear. Well, you told me after you retired, you needed this role to give your life a sense of purpose. Well, I was very, very selfish. What's changed? Now, don't laugh, but I have had a revelation, a visitation. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, not exactly from a flight of angels, but close. You don't have to explain anything. Oh, oh, but I want to. I want to share the miracle. Go on then. You see, until last week, I was extremely depressed, uh, stuck in here alone, wallowing in self-pity. And then one day, my French doors were open and a sparrow hopped in right onto the carpet followed by another one and another and another, a half dozen or more. I was too stunned to do an accurate count. I thought, I must be dreaming. See, I've lived in this apartment for over 40 years and nothing like that has ever happened before. Well, they chirped around for a while and then they flew away. But the next day, they came back, and every day since then, oh, the darling creatures, they're so tame, they eat right out of your hand. So you're feeding them? Oh, well, only since yesterday, but that's not why they came. You see, they sensed my loneliness. You'll think I'm silly, but I've written a poem. Would you like to hear it? Sure. <clears throat> I scatter breadcrumbs for the sparrows. I love their revelry. My heart's besieged by slings and arrows. The birds are feeding me. That is so sweet. Don't you think so, Doug? Um, I'm not a poetry person. Oh. I hope the committee is. I'm sending out a group email rhapsodizing about my experience. Good for you. Kim, with Doug's promotion, that leaves a vacancy. Would you consider stepping in? What's involved? Well, considerable responsibility, deciding what will be most beneficial for our well-being. That sounds right up my alley. There needs to be a vote. Oh, don't worry about that. My final recommendation carries a huge weight. We'll be working together, Doug. Apparently. I'll have to get used to the pecking order. Oh, no, we don't tolerate any petty politics. At least we didn't on my watch. You should still come to the meetings, Marion, as an observer. Oh, what a lovely thought. Uh, oh, but, but I would hate to tread on any toes. You won't be treading on any toes. You'd be keeping us on our toes. Won't she, Doug? I have no objection. Hmm. Well, well, then I accept. Oh, that gives me something to look forward to. My blessings just keep coming. <laughs> Wait and see. Any day now. Expect pigeons. Ooh.